Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing my Ipsy bag for the month of April. Wait, let me get a proper um thumbnail. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, this won't take long. This month, the bag is it's cotton. It feels sort of um, what is this feeling? Almost canvassy. It has a cute little Georgia peach on there. Precious. Um, the back is the same. Okay, let's get in here and see what we've got. Okay, first off is an item that I, I'm going to tell you right away. I'm not going to swatch it because it's going in a giveaway. But um, this was the item I chose. The Chicka Beauty Fiesta Mini Eyeshadow Palette. Let's see what it looks like without tearing the box up, which I usually do. Okay, the cover is white. It looks kind of boho. How cute is that? Okay, it doesn't have any plastic or mirror, but I'm not gonna touch it. It's just a, um, a cute little warm neutral palette with a pop of color. It's perfect for summer. I mean, those greens, blue greens, teals, are perfect for the beach. Neat little summer palette. Somebody will enjoy this. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the box and put it back in the bubble wrap. Okay, guys, and excuse the, the looks of my fingers, my nails. Um, I'm giving my nails a teeny tiny break um, from press-ons, and I'm trying to wait for a few um, cuts that I have on my hands to heal up. And so, uh, yeah, I'll be back to having decent looking hands by next week, I promise. I'm gonna make it my goal. Okay, next up um, is the Elizabeth Mott, which is a really good brand. It's very tiny though. Um, sure Thing Vitamin C Cleanser. Removes makeup with vitamin C. I hope this is a sudsy one because this is perfect for travel. Just a little weekend getaway, camping, um, just, taking a weekend trip with your sweetheart somewhere. Yeah, perfect. And if you leave it in a hotel room, you're not gonna freak out like you will your full size, of, you know, more expensive cleanser. Okay, next up is Elaine, Elena Badro, which is another high-end brand. Um, this is the Loose Powder and Fair. So they at least got the color right. Go on, Ipsy. Yeah, that's a cute little travel size loose powder. I'll definitely try it out because I am a loose powder fan. I just think it doesn't leave you, especially under the eyes, looking as cakey as sometimes pressed powder can. Now the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder is fabulous underneath the eyes and I have one of those, but I probably won't repurchase it after it's gone. But um, yeah, it's a very good one too, but very pricey. Yeah, loose powder is a winner. If you've got crepiness under the eyes and just around the face. Okay, this is a pretty decent bag. I mean, compared to what I usually get. Um, and by the way, if for anybody that doesn't know what Ipsy is, it's a monthly beauty subscription bag. Um, you get a cute little bag, every month it's different. And um, you get five items, one of them you get to choose. Like I chose the little eyeshadow. They'll give you a, a few items from which to choose and then they pick the rest of it for you according to your profile. Um, I don't think they pay that much attention to your profile because you just kind of get whatever. People have found that like going in frequently and switching their desires and like their hair color, eye color, different things up sometimes will help. But uh, I don't think generally they pay that much attention. I think what mostly helped you is reviewing the, pro the products you get in your bag. I think that's what they pay the most attention to. So be sure to do that. Plus you get points. Okay, but yeah, this is the Big Ego, a teeny tiny little tart Big, Eda, Big Ego mascara. This is a good one. I'll keep this one for travel. And um, also, mascaras like this that um, lengthen and separate are a good uh, base coat. The best way to get big lashes is um, to mix up your mascaras, to use two or three different ones. Okay, probably most of you already know that, but you know. Okay, um, I forgot to show the little card. Oftentimes, this will, t yeah, this tells me what I've got, how to use them, and what they're worth. So, yeah. 
that little um, eyeshadow palette um, is worth $15 and they're claiming it's full size. I don't know. Usually um, when you get a full size item in an Ipsy bag, it's a tool like a brush or um, a tweezer or um, a sponge even or, uh, or a lip product. Y usually you're not going to get something like a loose powder or a mascara in a full size. That just doesn't happen. With BoxyCharm you might the next step up, but um, not with this. Okay. I, I turned in some points, and this thing is so empty, y'all. I can see the light through it. I'm not sure if you can. But it's full up to here. I mean, there's no product in here. But it's Saturday Skin um, Carrot and Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream. So, yeah, this is a very expensive product, which is probably about why they gave, gave me about three drops of it. But, yeah, I don't think that was worth the cost. Of, I think they, this was like 600 points. And it really wasn't worth it. Um, and also, I think this was included in my bag. Or did I get all of these? I think I got all three of these brushes in the drop shop. They were two or three bucks each. Um, I bought, purchased these two before. I really like them. I like a fluffy dome brush because, like I've said, I'm not super precise. I just go in and have at it and just clean up. I do my eyes first and then I just clean it up with a wipe or a Q-tip and dipped in some micellar water and then go on with the rest of my face. But yeah, I love the big fluffy brush and these are wonderful. This looks more like a concealer brush though, but at least that's what I'll use it for. And it kind of reminds me of the, the Angie Hot and Flashy and BK Beauty little Paul, Paul brush for concealer. Yeah, I think that'd work out well. Okay, so all in all, this was a pretty decent bag, guys. Not too shabby at all. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for you today, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, um, I have a big haul coming Tuesday. A big Timu haul. So, I'll see you in that one. Thanks, y'all. Have a great one. Bye. Hey, guys, I wanted to add that um, one of the best things about Ipsy is the drop shop. That's the reason I stay a member. I already have enough makeup to stock a store by myself. But the drop shop is a, a very inexpensive way to pick up some name brand products for really like a fraction of the price you would um, pay at Sephora or Ulta or somewhere else. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. Plus the bag um, with handling and tax is $16 a month. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.